hello guys welcome back again in this video we talk about game development using DirectX UWP and C++ so Microsoft DirectX is a collection of application in pro application programmer programming interfaces for handling tasks related to multimedia especially game programming and video on Microsoft platforms so I, I won't talk too much or we won't go too much into details of DirectX. We just got we're just looking at how we can get started or we can start our first application and run it inside a Visual Studio. So the one thing you need in terms for this tutorial is the latest version of the Visual Studio. I'm using the VS 2019. So you can also get that. So basically, we're going to create a simple game from the templates using DirectX and UWP and C++. As a matter of fact, so for this tutorial sake, make sure you have a Windows 10 device installed on your—I mean, Windows 10 installed on your device and the, or possibly the latest version of it. So and install a suitable IDE like Visual Studio 2017 Apples right so now you can also prepare your hardware by going to settings and security and updates and setting setting your system to a developer mode and then one more thing is we're gonna have to actually go up in your visual studio installer and make sure you've got this installed so, yeah, I've got my visual like my Visual Studio installer in Italian, but that's fine. So you gotta make sure that we have um, develop um, game development with C plus plus enabled. So in this case, you're gonna have to check this bit here and download and install it before you, you come back to this video. So basically, you're actually consenting to to actually download and install this the game development with C plus plus. Is very important for the next part yeah okay so to get started what we have to do is we we actually open a, a new visual studio and if we click on the create a new project so now we have a new project dialog so you select the language to C++ so you, you drop down you look for the C++ language you click on it here and all the, I mean a platform side you can leave it as all platforms and then this bit here you can either you can either go to a game development yeah or you can just choose a UWP so basically what we got what we will create is a, is a direct X 12 application so this application can run on almost all windows devices including xbox so basically once you create your application using the universal windows platform you you are most likely to be able to run it on almost all windows devices and and xboxes so after this bit is done what we do is we go to next so here you can change the this you can change the default project configuration and put whatever you want to put in terms of names the location of your project and then the solution to which you want to put your project so once you've got all this bit done then you you, you come to the create part so this might take a, a while so I'm just gonna pause it and wait for, for everything to come up so now you're also prompted to select the, the minimum device target and and then the main target version. So for this video, we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it as it is. Yeah, but you can actually scroll down and and have and choose whatever you want to use. But we're just gonna use the default one here. So we click OK, then we get the project created. So as you can see, we've got the project created, right? So we've got all the necessary files to get you started. Basically, we're not going to look too much into the files because this is just an introduction to how I mean how to get started. So on the next upcoming videos, we will we will look inside the files and and explain it vigorously. So now what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to run it just to see what actually comes out of it here. So now, once you have the project created, you can click on this this bit here, or you can F5 just to run it. So we're just going to run it and we see what actually comes out of it. So as you can see, yeah, we have it running. So this is just a very simple stuff. It's just an object that you can it keeps rotating, yeah. So I'm just gonna leave it here for now. So I mean, if you've actually got into this part, then you can just go ahead, look inside the code, and try to edit it to see what, what how far you can get. All right. So I'm just gonna leave like this. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. And have a lovely day, morning, afternoon, wherever the heck you are. Peace and blessed. Bye-bye.